All aboard! Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the figurized standard masked writer, Denno! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. It's right up front here, we have some lovely, lovely artwork of Denno, Masked Rider Denno, plastic model kit, sword form and platform, illustration by... Justin. Bandai on the side, Dano on the other side, Dano on the top. You get a little bio there on Dano. If you want to read it, you can read that on your own time. And on the other side, we have some obligatory product shots. This, that, the other things, stuff, stuff, and things on the back. There is nothing. Uh, there is a warning. Don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have a Denno, and this is the next in the figurized standard line of common Rider model kits. Yes, this is a model kit. You get a bunch of these, you cut out the parts, you snap it all together, and when it's all said and done, you end up with this lovely figure right here. So here is Denno in his platform. Train, platform, platform. It's clever! It's so clever, but here he is in his platform. And let's get it closer so we can take a look at the details. And so, you know, the helmet looks pretty basic at this point, but some nice silver. You get some gold in there as well, black and white. Okay, just very plain, very basic. Stuff goes all the way around. Love all the silver bits, they just really pop. Now, keep in mind, I did not watch Denno, um, so I know nothing of this show, um, but you know, I buy these kits because I love them so much. But some more silver here, now you have the belt, and all this coloration on here is stickers. And of course, if you don't want to use the stickers, you don't have to, you can paint it up if you got skill like that. Me, I don't have skill like that, so I use the stickers, but. Yeah, there is an ultimate sticker they give you, um, that uh, instead of red, it's just like gray for the platform, but um, unfortunately they only give you one faceplate for the belt. So it's basically just, you have to pick one. So I figured, well, I'm gonna display him in sword form anyway, so I'm gonna put the red sticker on there, but you do have the option if you want to. And here is the Dengasher in its holsters and its various components there. On the sides, you can see some nice detail. You can see those bits obviously are stickers right there. And moving down the body, I don't know what to talk about, just black. Whole lot of silver going on there with the boots. Black soles, got the white in the back. And even the bottoms of his boots. You have some molded detail. Moving up the back, you got the den booty. You got the silver as well. It's so all in all looking pretty nice. In its platform and now articulation wise the head is on a ball joint you have wiggly waggly you also have wiggly waggly at the base of the neck itself so you have two points of wiggly waggliness the arms can rotate a full 360 can move in and out they can also kind of shift up and down if you need them to you have a joint in here that can move forward as well so you can bring the arms you know across his chest if you need to you have bicep rotation, a double jointed elbow, the wrist on a ball joint, you just got wiggly waggly rotation. Um, the waist, you do have two joints here, you have a ball joint up here and a ball joint at the waist itself, so you have multiple points of wiggly waggliness if you need it. Legs can move forward, that far, back, that far, the hips themselves can move up and down if you need them to, you can get a little extra height there. As well, outwards, uh, you can kind of move these out of the way, but once you get to a certain point, they'll unclip, but you, just like, <laughs> or his leg will fall off entirely. We don't want that, but legs can go out that far. You do have thigh rotation, you have a double jointed knee with nice full range of movements, and the feet, they can move up, down, you have tiltage and rotation edge. So that is basically it for the platform. And now let's get down to the main event, the sword of form. And this is how we really know Denno here. So to do that, we're gonna have to do some uh, disassembly. So we're gonna have to take this guy apart. One thing you gotta do is rip off his head, put that off to the side. We don't need that anymore. You wanna pull off his arms 
just pop them out and you need to pop off the shoulders. So we're not gonna need these shoulders anymore. And this, this is what we gotta do, this is what we gotta do. So rip out the arm, pull out the shoulder, put that off the side, we don't need that anymore. We can remove these as well. You can leave them on if you want to, but for the sake of what we're gonna do with the sword form, we're gonna take those off. Uh, you want to remove this silver piece on his back and this just pops right off off the side as well. You want to remove this chest piece and you just kind of come up from underneath and just pop that off. Remove the chest and put that off to the side and we come here to his thighs. These pieces here you just push on the bottoms of them and that will pop them up. You can remove them and just pop that up. Remove them and I believe he is ready to go. So all right let's get down to it. So what are we going to do first? Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're just going to give him these new red thigh pieces and these will just tab right on like so. Gives him some color and now we give him his new chest and that just tabs right in. We bring in the new, oh, actually forgot, one more thing we have to take off. Forgot we have to remove this whole collar piece as well. That has to go, there we go. And then we can replace it with this new one and that will just tab in in its place like so. There we go. And then we come back here, we bring in this back piece and that will just tab in right there and then we bring in the silver piece and that will go right back where it was and help to secure all that in there. And we got that going on. And now we bring in these new shoulder pieces. We got some gold, some red, those are stickers, and some silver. And we just pop these on. And those are his new shoulders. And we just pop it on and pop it on. Lots of popping on and popping off. But trust me, it is worth it. So now we bring in these holsters here, which don't have the Dengasher components attached to it. These are done in silver. Oops. Hey, 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 hey. Keep your hands on, man. Keep your hands, keep your hands to yourself, man. Keep your hands to yourself. There we go. Those get plugged on like so. And obviously he has no head. So now we bring in the sword form head that gets popped on. And there we go. And now, now we have Deno. The colors really pop, it's just vibrant, and I just, I really love his design. I think he looks quite cool in my opinion. So let's get in close here. So we can take a look at all of these new details. Take a look at that new helmet there. You can see some nice transparent red there for the eyes. There are silver stickers behind this, so it does make those pop a lot more. See those bits right there, just silver stickers. Nice sticker detailing going down the center of the head there. These old black bits are just stickers. These gold bits there are stickers as well. You can see nice red and silver going on. And a new chest piece. Well, very nicely done. Take a look at the back here. We have some more new details. You can see all these bits of silver going across. The gold, the black looks really nice. Very, very cool, the Den Booty. The Den Booty doesn't change. The Den Booty is always there. It's constant. It's unwavering. But there you have that. Um, Articulation-wise, nothing really changes. Still, you got your head on the ball joint, wiggly-waggly. Obviously, you have this piece now, so it will kind of get in the way of your arm articulation, but you can still pretty much get them in any position you need. You're just going to have to work around these shoulder pieces now, but other than that, everything stays basically the same articulation-wise. So now let's run through the accessories. As always, you do get the display stand here, just done all in transparent plastic. You have the adjustable arm, and you have this piece right here, which just plugs in right above his butt, right there. That holds him in place. Again, you can adjust that however you wish. And get some rider kick poses going on, do whatever you want. You also get these pieces right here. You get four of these and these are meant to plug in to the various ports around the stand itself. So you can plug in effects parts and you also get this piece right here which attaches to the bottom. You can use that to attach the bases so you can get a nice display going that way. 
You do also get a bunch of optional hands. The ones that are on him are just the closed fists, but you do get a, uh, a thumbs up hand. Hey, you get one of those. You do get a hand holding his rider pass, which is pretty cool. So you have that going. Um, you do get two of these kind of open posed hands there. Again, they're nicely detailed. A little detail in the palms there. Very nicely done. And you also get two weapon holding hands. And of course the weapon holding hands are for the Dengasher. And here's the Dengasher in its sword form with the blade done in red. The rest of it's just done in black. Some nice detail. Of course, little stickers there for the separate components. As always, cat hair not included. Get off me. And here is the other side. Just so you can see. But yeah, very nicely done. The blade itself is removable. I think you can do if you want to do it. And of course, we can bring in the weapon holding hand. You have to pop off the thumb here. And then just... Put the Dengasher in his hand, put the thumb back on, and there you go. And the hands are very easy to swap, just on ball joints, just pop right off, pop right on, and there he is with his weapon. And the last accessory that is included is to facilitate his final attack. You get a, uh, a transclearant red blade for the Dengasher, and if you want to, you can totally uh, swap out the blade if you prefer the... Transparent one, it will snap on as well. But what you're supposed to do is you take this blade and it comes with its own little stand here. You can see there's a port on the other side. So you just plug it on like that. And you set that there. And you basically get him into the pose and you do the thing and the stuff. And you know how it works. So it looks like he's, you know, like he's flinging the blade. <laughs> Apparently that's his attack. Here it's uh, it's it's pictured better on the box. Here I'll just show you that. There you go. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> That's how that works. So you can do that if you wanna. And now for comparison, let's bring in the other figure eyes common writers here. So we have Puga and Fies, Kabuto and Double, Exade and Build. And last but not least, Gio and Gates. So, there you go. So there you have Figure Eyes, Hibiki, and like I've said in all of these Figure Eyes reviews, um, I love these kits. They're just so cool. I absolutely love them. Just fun to put together, and when it's all said and done, you end up with a nicely detailed, really superposable action figure and um yeah i just i love these kits so much so yeah the next one coming is hibiki and um i don't know when that's coming out but whenever it does we'll definitely be taking a look at that um you know keep them going keep them going i'll keep buying them i love them and i'll i said it before but i will say it again um they better be working on a zero one they better be, unless they're just gonna tackle all the Heisei writers first before they start doing the new generation. I don't know, but either way, at some point, there better be a zero one kit. That's really, that's really something I very much want. But either way, as far as Deno goes, really cool, very well done. I love it, so there you go. Now I picked this up from Hobby Link Japan, but of course, there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you're interested, such as CS Toys, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake, of course, there's always eBay and Amazon. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Figure Eyes playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Figure Eyes Standard Masked Writer Deno. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud, pull in your face. You know what? If I'm gonna save the world, I'm gonna need wisdom. Wisdom beyond my years, but 
Where can I find someone like that? Mm, let's go, let's go, let's go! Alright.